Okay, we're talking about uh, the second installment on double stops. I'm here at the 12th fret, right there, and we're going to stay in this E minor pentatonic and blues type position. E minor pentatonic and blues shape at the 12th fret. And last time we talked about playing the double stops. Double stop meaning playing two notes simultaneously, and they're all over the place, certainly in these box shapes. You just take a finger and bar uh, two notes at the same time and you get some cool tones. All right? And that's what we talked about last lesson. Now we're going to take those and start bending them doing a technique called double stop bends. So taking this double stop right here where I'm playing a C sharp then I'm also playing this A note together. Now we're going to bend that. See how I did that? Let me do that again. I have all three fingers flat on the fretboard because I like to bend with as many fingers as I can. And when you're doing double stops, it's nice if you can put all your fingers flat and then pushing up. And I'm bending a half both notes. Both notes a half a step. I'm bending them both a half. I'm bending the C sharp to the D and I'm bending the A the B flat. That B flat in the key of E minor is the blue note, right? So that's why that double stop sounds so good. So it's, again, fingers flat, hook your thumb over the fretboard for a little bit extra uh, strength. Fingers are flat and bam! Going back to this double stop. It's a nice mean, especially with some gain. Nice mean double stop and uh, uh, bend it up a couple times. Here's another nice double stop bend I like, but this time I'm going to play with my pinky, the D note on the B string, and I'm going to play, I'm going to lay all three fingers on the G string and play this note uh, on the G string, which is your A, right there. But I'm going to lay all three fingers on that because I'm going to bend that one a half a step. Remember when you're bending, make sure you hit your note and pitch, right? I'm going to bend that to the blue note, the B flat. But while I'm bending it, I'm going to also play a double stop. At the same time, I'm going to play this note, this D note right there. So I'm holding the D note with my pinky, but I'm going to bend the... A note to the B flat, and you get a really mean sounding double stop. Sounds like this. See how I did that? I'm holding the, the D note with the pinky, not bending that, but I'm bending the other note. I'm bending the A to the B flat. That's a really cool double stop bend. Now mix them all together with your other ones and I'll just play a second you get, I'll just do a bunch of them you get stuff sounds like this. Now of course you want to do that all over the entire fretboard in all positions.